Hey guys, today I'm just going to be showing you a um, Unity 3D terrain tutorial. Basically, I'm going to show you how to create a complex, nice, beautiful kind of terrain instead of using the plain default Unity terrain editor that looked really ugly. So let's get started. Open any internet browser and go to Google and search for island height map hit enter click to it click images and scroll down let's choose this one here map is 32 all right open it let it load save as save it to your desktop all right now um you don't need the internet anymore so just close that and now here you've got the image i'm going to use photoshop for this so if you have paint.net or GIMP, then you'll be able to still do this. So, get the file, drag it in. No, sorry, ignore that. What you want to do is click File, New. Make the width and height both 512 by 512, resolution by 72, color mode grayscale, and make it 8 bit. And hit OK. Drag this on, and adjust it until it is imperfectly there we go um, now right click the background merge visible so now you'll be able to make some adjustments um, and first of all we want to go on auto tone so the background becomes black uh, basically in a height map black is the lowest point of the terrain and white is the highest so let's zoom in and let's go on adjustments brightness and decrease the brightness to about 40 and just increase the contrast to about 30 once you've done that save it as a raw file so photoshop raw save ok alright now open unity um, within this project I have well I'll tell you after but this is the terrain you are going to achieve so click so file, new scene, terrain, create terrain. Now within these values on the set resolution, which is there, uh, you want to make the terrain height around 200. That's all you need to do in these settings, set resolution. And import height map that we made in Photoshop. There it is, open. Um, make this 8-bit with 512 by 512 which is the resolution of this image alright um, leave it as Mac and import there you go guys you can now have your nice looking island but first we need to smooth it because as you can see I'm going to drag the player about there um, we need to create a light a directional light um, do it about there and when you see we click play we have a very bumpy surface so to fix that on terrain smoothen tool double click your first person control to zoom in and get their clicker and just make the brush size a bit bigger and just smooth it all out so we don't have these bumpy edges like we did before Just kind of do it everywhere around your map, the bits that are bumpy. Alright, so now uh, when you click play, there we, oh, sorry, um, you need to drag the first bench control above the ground so it doesn't fall through. About there. And as you can see, we don't have any bumpy, bumpy surfaces now. And the second part. We need to give some colour to this terrain, so terrain, add texture, and we'll give it a grass texture. And by default, the size is 15 by 15, so um, when you click play, you can see the texture is really bad quality. However, edit texture, put this to about 3, 3, play, play, and we have some 
high quality images. And next, we want to go on Edit, and then Settings, Skybox Material. We'll pick Sunny 2 for this purpose, and click Play. And as you can see, we now have a, a um, basic Skybox. But to make that more uh, better quality, find it in your assets. So go to Skybox, just collapse all these Skyboxes. And we did have the Sony 2, I believe. So go to Textures, open Sony 2. Select every single one of these and change it to GUI. Trillionaire, apply. And you will see that the sky texture has became a good quality. Alright, so next part is we if you're using Pro, you're going to want to add some water to this terrain. Water. Uh, drag it in. Lower it a bit. And as you can see, the plane mesh is a circle, but it's really hard to edit like that, so I'll change it to a plane so it becomes square. And just adjust it to the size of your terrain. So I'll just minimize, not minimize, uh, reduce the size, and position it accordingly. Alright, so now I'm just going to rename that back because I'm not going to spend too long with the water. Uh, so now, as you can see, we've already got a really nice looking terrain. But the, the light is kind of off. So let's, if you've got Pro, try, uh, enable shadows by clicking graphics and ticking cast and receive shadows. So, oh sorry, first you need to enable shadows on the actual, the, um, the, uh, sun. So, go to directional light, rotate it, probably, where is it, where is it, there it is, keep rotating it. Where's the shadow? There it is. Right. So, I just click medium resolution. And for a realistic shadow, make the strength 0 0.8, 0 0.7. So it's slightly transparent. And the sun is directly above us. So the shadow. Point, yeah, it's pointing the right way, so we've got that fixed. Next, we want to add more detail to the terrain, so um, go to the paint tool. Let's assign more textures. Add texture, let's give a sandy, dirty kind of texture to use for the sand on the edges here. Sorry for the light, guys, but uh, yeah, let's. And then just slowly uh, turn the opacity up to 100. I'm just going to close um, this because we don't need it anymore. And it's causing a tiny bit of lag, possibly. And just paint the side like this you start to get a a nicer looking terrain just click this light here and it turns the light off so you can see your terrain better and just there we go and if you want to carry on then just Paint all of this, so brush brush size 100, and make all this sand because this is the sand underneath the sea. Okay, 
reduce this a bit. Still too big. Up there. And just do it along these edges too. Follow me as I go along with this. Sorry, I'm silent. I just don't. I'm just concentrating painting this. Alright. So. Alright, yeah. It has painted. So next, we want to give even more detail to the terrain. So. Let us add a another texture which would be a cliff texture there we go uh, by default it's 15 by 15 however we want to increase the size considering it's a cliff actually no just leave it by 20 by 20 then 20 by 25 yeah select that and you want to paint the side of the mountains to keep, to reduce the opacity to increase it sorry to give it give it full opacity paint the side of these hills here I'm just doing a quick job here just for a dem piece of demonstration. There we go. Turn this light back on. Alright, so um, just keep following the, uh, keep doing this until you get a nice looking edge cliff cliff edge, sorry. Just do it on the flat bits up here. And you're probably going to want to do it on the adjacent side. But I don't think I'll have time for that, so. Alright. There we go. We already have a nice looking terrain. This has probably took about I don't I don't know. Um I think it might be let's see, twelve minutes. Twelve minutes and we've already got a really nice looking terrain, which can be used for a game. And let's play, see what it looks like. Play. Alright. There we go. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll be giving you more Unity 3D tutorials. Goodbye.